Odd animal specimens, here's something amazing. Behold! Uh, cotton. <gasps> a very tiny jaw. And a tiny skull. Uh, oh. It's so tiny! But what is this, though? Hmm? All right, check this out. We have some big incisors in the front. You can tell that they're a little brown or yellow or orangish. This probably means that there are iron deposits on them to make them extra hard. Also, if I rotate it back, we have that gap in between the incisors and the rest of the teeth. That's called a diastema. Diastema! This means it's some sort of rodent or something like that. But wait! There's something not quite right about this rodent. Can you tell? Hmm. 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 I have a second jar. This is what, like, the normal version of this rodent will look like. Check it out. On the right one over here, the back of the skull is pretty kind of uniform. And on the left, it's all ballooned out! What is the cause of this ballooning? The source of the ballooning is right here. It's kind of jelly beaned right here in this skull, which is the normal skull. And over here, it's ballooned out much more. It's, uh, I don't know, swollen? The parts that I'm pointing to right now are called the auditory bully. Auditory, auditory bully. bully. What the heck is that? I have no idea what you're talking about. The auditory bully is part of your skull which encloses your ear. It can resonate, which means it can vibrate and create sound that your eardrum then picks up. But why does, why, but why does it all matter? Okay, here's where it all comes together. We put it in a pie, we bake it in the oven, and it comes out a little nice, little understanding, interesting fact about this animal. This animal's swollen auditory bully vibrates or resonates the most in reaction to two noises made by two specific animals. Animal number one. Animal number two. Ooh. And that just so happens to be two animals that eat this specific rodent. They're the, its predators. Which is really insane because think about it like this. This very unusual rodent evolved a swollen skull that physically vibrates in response to attacks from rattlesnakes and owls. Ooh. So that it can hear them better and, and hopefully make a last second escape. A very interesting trait from a very interesting animal. The kangaroo mouse.